Hi, Katie Anna. Well, I'm here with former NFL player Josh Reed for an interview. This question is from Emily Dupuy. What is your favorite song? To name one, I, I, I couldn't even think of one off the top. I got a few uh, different genres, too. I like anything, uh, R&B, rap, country, believe it or not. Uh, if I had to go with a favorite musician, I would probably say Lil Wayne. So any Lil Wayne song, how about that? Uh, do you want to get the family? Oh yeah, you can. This is from Andrea Lorman. How is your family doing? Family's doing great. Uh, everybody's happy. Everybody's pretty healthy. Uh, my two kids. I have two kids that are seventeen and and seven. So they're doing great. Uh, my mom's doing great. I actually saw my mom today. So everybody's great. Family's doing really good. This is from Michael Gidry. Did you also play for Rain High? Yes, I did. Uh, graduate of 1998. Uh, Keith Bergeron. Bergeron was my head coach then. He and uh, Coach uh, J.C. Arsenal. He's over at Church Point now. Coach Bergeron's over at Como. So I graduated, yep, 98. By the way, go Wolves. Go all the way to, to the Dome. Bring that thing home. This is from Craig Bergeron. Why are you not playing anymore? Old age, uh, I had a few injuries, I had a back injury, but basically my time, I did my time when I was playing. Uh, I had some younger guys that could do it, if not better, just as good as I could. So eight years was, was long enough. I was happy to get that and it was a blessing, but that's why. This is also from Craig Frazier. Do you like the Saints? Well, I mean, being from Louisiana, I'm supposed to, right? No, but yeah, I, I really do. Uh, actually, I have some friends that still play for the Saints, a few of them, but that did. Uh, Devery Henderson was my college roommate. I don't know if people remember Devery from New Orleans, but yeah, of course I cheer for the Saints. This is also from Craig Fraser. What is your favorite thing to eat? The favorite food in the world, lasagna. I have to go with lasagna. This is from Emily du Dupuy. What do you miss the most about playing football? Most about playing football, honestly, it would probably be the road trips uh, when we had away games. Just you know, having to get on a plane and fly somewhere the night before a game. Just being with my teammates and just that camaraderie and that togetherness that we had off the football field. You know, because you make a lot of friends, believe it or not, in the NFL. And uh, just being around those guys was the most. This is also from Emily Dupuy. What is your most memorable game? I'm gonna, I guess she means playing in. Mm -hmm. I would have to go with the year we won the SEC championship playing against Tennessee. Um, just the way the season went, I think we were the first team in the conference history to actually go to the SEC championship game with three losses. Um, we had lost to that year, UAB and for homecoming. We were just talking about homecoming game. Uh, nobody expected us to lose to UAB, but they beat us. And then Ole Miss also beat us. Tennessee beat us earlier that year. So we thought we were pretty much out of, you know, contention to go to the SEC championship, but things happened. We ended up playing Tennessee again in the SEC championship and beating them that, that, that game. So it, we beat them in the one that counted. So just to be in that spot, spot to be playing for the championship even though we didn't think we would I, I think that would have to be in the way we wanted we had to come from behind lost our quarterback he got hurt which turned out to be a good thing uh because Rohan got hurt and the guy that came in ended up he was more of a runner he ended up running for two touchdowns and we ended up winning that game this is also from Emily Duke when you were growing up what did you want to be uh as far as I can remember, I always wanted to be a meteorologist, man. It was just something about weather, specifically tornadoes. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I've never been in one, but I've always been fascinated by the weather. Well, speaking to that, well, we're going to let you do the forecast. We're going to be late now, but after the show, we can do a forecast, and we'll show it in our uh, news tonight at 9. Do I get a chance to rehearse before y'all? Yes, that's perfect. Awesome, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, now I'm nervous. 
This is from the Even News Crew. If you could travel, where would you go? If I could travel, where would I go? Only one place that I could pick? Probably Australia. Just because it's on the exact opposite side of the planet. And I couldn't imagine being in a plane that, that long. I don't like to fly. Believe it or not. I had, we had to do it 10 times a year, but that's something I never got used to. And now that I don't have to, I won't get on the plane. This is also from us, the Even News crew. What is your job now? Now I'm just being a father. Um, as far as an occupation, I don't have a particular occupation. I'm actually looking for something to do because I'm tired of sitting at home doing nothing. I'm not used to being this idle. I've, I've coached a few years since I've been out the league. That's what I'm going to I'm gonna look into getting into next year again. Uh, my son just graduated last year, so the year before that, I was coaching over at Como. And then I took a year off because I wanted to follow him his last year's. But this year, it was a bit of a transition. I moved, and there's a lot of things that changed into my life. I had people come into my life, got a girlfriend. Um, so I didn't get a chance to even try to find a coaching job. So maybe next year, if any coach sees this, maybe. I like I love to just train kids, not so much coaching, but you know, just like over the summers, have their kids come out where I could train them, uh, do some one-on-one -on -one stuff if parents, you know, want their kids to have, you know, one-on-one -on -one personal stuff, just stuff like that. I would love to be, I would love to be in a position where I can actually do the physical strength and conditioning and then football specific stuff. That's My what I would do. Stuff, I'm managing me. Say again? You can manage. I thought you have a pretty good manager already. Your mom. Oh, she doesn't bring me coffee in the morning. <laughs> so you're looking for an errand boy. Mm -hmm. I did say I would do that. Whatever I can do to get on the crew. You're right. We'll talk about that. This is also from us, the Even News Crew. What is your favorite hobby? Favorite hobby? Oh, y'all gonna laugh. <laughs> Excuse me. It used to be, uh, you know, the little model cars you see people putting together? <laughs> I used to do that all the time. But recently, uh, I was in Barnes & Noble, the bookstore, one day, and you know the, it's almost connect the dot books where mm -hmm. you connect the dots and it makes a picture. The number dots, I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know why I've just all of a sudden fascinated with that, but I got about four or five books now that I do with the dot to dot. This is also from us, the Even News crew. Do you like Even News? No, I don't. <laughs> I love the even news. It's the, it's the best news around. This is from Car Carly Carey. How many touchdowns you made in history? I'm assuming she meant college. I had to look it up. I didn't look up the other one. Uh, and it says 17. So that was at LSU. I don't know. I don't know about pros. This is also from Carey. Carly Carey, how long have you played? I was at LSU for four years, and then I spent, I was blessed enough to get eight years with Buffalo. This is also for Carly Carey. Who was your favorite coach? Mm, my favorite, to say I had a favorite, I'd be lying. Just any coach that gave me an opportunity to play for, you know, if, if, like I said, I always consider myself blessed and just to have somebody think enough of me to want me to, to you know, to offer me a job, that meant a lot to me, you know, so any coach I ever had. This is from Rachel Sanders. Who do you think is the GOAT? Oh, I might get a little flack about this one, but I have to go with Tom Brady, man. Just um, watching him play now. Uh, we were in the same conference as them, unfortunately. So we we got to play him twice a year. And just to see him do it. I, I mean, I've seen the teams that he's won Super, the Super Bowl with that were basically the whole team was all pro. But then to see him do it when you don't, I mean, not too many names on that team that, you, you know, people knew are, you know, household names. And to see him do it with that, 
I mean, I, to me, that that's what makes the best to be able to, to to accomplish something like he did with a bunch of guys that, you know, they're gonna come to work, do their job. Nobody really stands out, you know, among I mean, amongst anybody else, and for him to still win it, I mean, that's amazing, man. This is also from Rachel Sanders. What was your favorite play of all times? Play. Personally, probably Peach Bowl, Georgia Tech. We're playing Georgia Tech. Uh, Nick Saban's first year. We're down the whole game and made another quarterback change. That's when the Rohan came in, uh, the starting quarterback. They just pulled him. And uh, back catching the back of the end zone, that's really when I knew I could maybe I could play wide receiver because I wasn't running back. So it would probably be that catch. This is also from Rachel Sanders. What other universities recruited you? Uh, Matthew Manning, I took a visit to Tulane. I went to Mississippi State, and on the day I was supposed to go to Texas A&M, I called and asked if I could bring a friend with me on the trip, and they told me no. So I decided I'm gonna just go to LSU then, so I didn't even make that trip. Actually, the next question was also from Rachel Sanders, and they asked, why did you choose to go to LSU? I wanted to go to a big school, a big university. Uh, at that time, uh, LSU had Kevin Falk, Rondell Mealy, um, Kendall Cleveland, and Cecil Collins, you know, before that summer when all that stuff happened. But I wanted to see how good, you know, if if I was really as a good running back as, you know, some people might have thought because that was running back. They had a stable of running backs. So I wanted to see if I could play with those caliber guys and, I know I didn't want to go out of state when I went to Mississippi, so I wanted to stay home but still go to a big school in LSU. Well, this is our last question. This is from our head uh, news anchor, Even St. Julian. What advice would you give to young kids that want to play professional football like you? First thing I would tell them is education is more important than anything. Uh, get that education you want to get that degree because you know for, for all the kids that want to play football you know i would hope i would love to help do my part getting them you know as far as training getting them ready to to, to get to that level um but you can't get hurt going to take a test so you got to get that degree that's more important than anything but if you're gonna if you want to play on that next level Listen, you got to be disciplined. You got to work hard. You got to work harder than everybody else. Discipline. You got to listen and, and just keep working hard. Well, thank you, Mr. Josh. And stay tuned for Even News at 9. We'll have his weather forecast in the middle of the show. Thanks for joining us today.